Yo, I'm Coral. I'm on a quest to max my main account in the 100 days leading up to the Tombs of Amaskid's release, while leveling skills only using methods that give me the highest chance of obtaining new collection lock slots. Every level I have left by the end of these 100 days is 100 mil I'm giving away. My current bounty is 1.1 bill with 26 more days to go, with the final major hurdle being Slayer, where I'll only be using Duradaddy. Anyways, let's get into it. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for that easy farm run to start off. And we're also going to hit 98 farming. So I'm already down 100 mil this episode. Nice. If you recall at the end of last episode, I ended up with an Abyssal Demons task. So here I am at Sire. Before I acquired this task, I had a little less than 100 KC with no Unsired's left. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely expecting an Unsired this task. And I guess while I'm here, I should go ahead and just explain my plan in general. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to collect all the collection log slots for all the boss tasks I go against because there's just too many pets and jars. So the plan is simple. Necreals, Sukas, and Trolls are currently my best tasks, but considering that I'm going to swap my Slayer helm soon, I'm going to need to save my Slayer points. So pretty much, I'm just going for it. I'm just going to try and do every single task I can get this episode, hoping that I have enough next episode with enough collection logs complete to allow me to at least get close to 99. I'm not sure if 99 is feasible at this point, but we're going for it. That's what I'm talking about, boys. We're only like 25 kills into this task too. Now let's go see what I got. All right, all right, a dagger. Yeah, that's like two mil going to whoever I end up paying at the end of all of this. It's only been like 13 kills and uh, yeah, I got another one already. Let's fucking go, dude. And a unique, my first bludgeon piece. <laughs> dude, I fucking hated this boss before this task. Oh my God. Quack. Oh, maybe I do hate Sire. Wow, that took three days, but our first Slayer task is finally done. And leaving with some significant progress on the collection log. All right, some cave horrors? That's cannonable, so I mean, we're gonna go through that regardless. I need the black mask anyways, so maybe we'll get a drop, who knows? Yeah, I'm definitely not getting any drops for a while. All right, well, we got Duracell. Vampires? I need a blood shard, but how long it takes to do this task is really going to be rough right now. Yeah, I didn't get a blood shard. But anyways, Onkos is a nice task. Really easy slayer points. Ooh, KBD. In all honesty, I think KBD has probably one of the best pets in the game. Just because around Christmas time, when all of the pets get a Santa hat, the KBD pet gets a Santa hat and two party hats. That's S tier material, bro. Why are these an F, you ask? Because F in the chat for them. Because now they're just going to walk around my house for all eternity. All right. All right. Some skeletal wyverns. Mm, I need a draconic visage from them. I, I don't really think they're a bad task anyways. Am I really about to lag out on the final kill of this task? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I was down for a few hours there. I'm hoping to make the uh, the time up a little bit, especially with this Dagonoth task. If you recall in the last episode, the only exception to this is the DK pets because my two friends have one of each of the DK pets and I have one of the DK pets. And I really don't want to ruin what we have going on there. So I need to kill Rex for Berserker Ring. And if I can get this ring, we can add Dagonoths to the list of super easy tasks. Pretty much as I see it now, I'm banking on getting this B ring from this task. These XP rates over the past few days have just been pretty abysmal. Hey, let's go, 91 Slayer. That task alone was over rate and I didn't get it. I got a warrior's ring at some point, but I couldn't find it in my footage. Just uh, a shame, really. Grotesque Guardians? Um, I'm gonna do, th I think I'm gonna do three. I, I don't want to burn myself out on grotesques. Well, I didn't get any loot, obviously. It was only three kills, but it gave me the opportunity to do some trolls, which I'm super excited for. But also, I now have enough points to invest in my next Slayer Helm, which will be the Twisted Helm. 
Dark Beasts? I've never had a Dark Beast task before, but there's always the option of getting a Dark Bow here, so let's go for it. I figured I would get nothing on that task, but it, you know, you gotta be dry to get wet or something like that. It, it it sounded a little better in my head. Anyways, moving on to Drake's. Uh, uh-oh. I better, I better get this task done quick. Well, I'm losing time for my second day in a row. I, I guess I'll be back in a few hours. And this time I'm moving on to worms. For whatever reason, I like doing worms. I guess it's just because it, it's just a cool looking area. So hell yeah, let's go. I'm sure Duradel's gonna give me something relaxing to do now, right? Oh, look, Vorkath. Well, I better do some Tears of Guthix before I break right into Vorkath. Although Vorkath is all right as a boss, I've already put over a thousand kills in him because he's the money dragon, man. I'm just going to have to endure the pain through a fat stack of cash. Well, that was dreadful. No uniques whatsoever, but at least I get to move on with my life a little bit. Spectres? No problem. I really hope I can uh, get a Draconic Visage soon so I can stop doing Skeletal Wyvern's tasks, but I guess for now, no problem, Duradad. Hey, I didn't lag out this time. I've gone as far as I can, but I I'm just skipping this one, boys. Water Fiends is kind of fucking useless. A 1 in 3,000 chance of a battle staff with minimal XP is just not worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and reroll into Basilisk. My rate on Basilisk Knights are pretty poor, so I'm hoping this is the task that gives me that unique. I don't care if it's a head or a jaw, I just want one. Nothing at all. What a shame. Please, give me a good one. More vampires? I'm starting to hate seeing that one now. Hey, another Kraken task. I hope this finally ends my dry streak. It'd be nice to get my first unique at Kraken. <sighs> yeah, I'm still I'm still dry. But a Necreal's task. That's that's as good as I could get right there. Back to the sire again. Oh no, back to the sire again you messed up back to the sire again i knew it was gonna loop back around to where i didn't get any unsireds because i i pretty much got three for only having two statistically but yeah it being in the middle of my dry streak just kind of sucks and more skeletal wyverns a drop would be good right about now but one in ten thousand is just ridiculous oh yeah back to kbd for some quick slayer points uh i don't think i've ever gotten a giant mole task from slayer before uh, uh how many kills should i do oh i see if king condor saw this video right now he'd fucking rage that slayer's my last skill and i don't want that to be the case so i'm going to try to negate that just a little bit in case he ever sees this one day by going for the mole slipper meta so oh yeah honestly i've never done an elf task before um you know throughout the quest you work so hard to become an ally of elves that i never really wanted to do these but it's a cannibal task i'll do it and i've already gotten an enchanted teleport seed so yeah i can do this however i want more cave horrors yeah all right 149 black demons mm, i have one totem so i can go do scotiza real quick and then i'm gonna move on to demonic gorillas where well i don't have a lot okay my brain just wanted to show off so bad for this task because they're just mobs and not a boss but you aren't really given that option here especially if you don't have a lot of hours here like me and hey guess what i didn't get a unique either so the dry streak continues i think it all went downhill after the guardians of the rift it made me real cocky about my rng but but it's just not happening anymore but i'm still in the fight bitch hey it's necreals nice those neck reels got me so close to 92, but hopefully this task will be the one to finally push me. Karasks, I think I still need the leaf bladed battle axe from them. Hi, it's me. Still dry. Still not leveling up. Duradel sent me to a Drake's task where I finally hit 92 Slayer. Just eight more levels to go. A Calphite Queen task? I have a lot more Calphite Queen than most people, so I'm just going to go ahead and do three for now to get the fast Slayer points. Rune Dragons aren't that bad, especially when it's a low amount to kill like that. <sighs> I just want to reject demons and return to Monkey. Oh my god, that dry streak is finally over. Ballista limbs? Hell yeah. First ballista part. Hey, I wasn't even really paying attention or anything, but I hit 20 million attack XP. Not really something I was going for, but nice. Another one? Oh man, that's fucking crazy. Maybe I can make a ballista by the end of this task? 
Uh, the stars aligned. I was just memeing. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, combine everything I've gotten. I, I don't have a monkey tail to string it with yet. So I'm just going to combine it for what it is now and just leave it in the bank. It's so cool to actually get this all in one task, though. Another gargoyle task. So I think this is this is where I'm going to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and spend some points to make my task line up a little better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy the thing that makes it so each grotesque guardian kill counts as two kills. And and extend Necreals, Sukas, and Dagonoth tasks, because I'm still banking on a Berserker ring, hopefully. Hey, another unique, a, a granite ring. Really, dude? Two kills after the granite ring drops and I get another one? What a shame, dude. A third one in this task? Jagex is just trolling me right now. Finally, that task is complete and we're moving on to Kraken. All right, this should be it. This should be the time I finally get a unique here. I'm on a roll. There were no uniques, just squids. All right, now back to Cow Fight Queen. Nothing from Cow Fight Queen, but a Zora task. I've never done any Zora before, so I'm not sure how many I should do, so... Well, there we go. I'm doing five of them. Woo! Tears of Guthics. I can't believe I went so far into this account without killing Zoro, but it's pretty easy. Just Vorkath with more steps. More Rune Dragons. All right, easy points. Sukas, more like suckas, cause I'm in for that free XP. All right, a greater demon's task. So I'm gonna go kill some Krill Susaroth for a bit. Um, I've got plenty to gain from this task, so let's just see how it goes. I was not paying attention at all. I got too many fucking kills to go into the gate, obviously. But holy shit, my second champion scroll. I haven't even started grinding for these yet. It's pretty much a pet drop, and I'm just so fucking stoked to have another one. Damn, another drop already? A little four mil bump. Let's go. Three kills later? Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh man. Ooh. I've been in here for a little bit, so my friends decided to come in and help me out while they could. Oh my god, a fourth fucking slot in one task. I am being so spooned. Oh, that was an incredible task. So what's up next? Cow fight queen. Hmm. Well, that was kind of mid, but let's see what we can get from here. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Another unsired. All right. And another dagger. Thanks, Jamplex. Okay, another chance with an unsired. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, another bludgeon piece. Just one more and I can collect that nice 20 mil stack from having a full bludgeon. It's been a while since I've had a Dagonoth task, but I have not stopped thinking about the Berserker ring. So I'm just gonna hold out hope for this task. I'm officially three times over rate now for that ring, by the way. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It came so close to the end of this task. I've gotten a lot of drops, but this one surely feels the most significant because it makes a huge difference in where we go for now. Speaking of which. Well, that's a wrap for now. Things are definitely heating up, but I've got two weeks remaining to try and level as much as I can before the end of this adventure. Took a little longer than normal to get this one out. I'm, I expect I'm going to be pushed back about a week from finishing up editing on this overall. And uh, I should go ahead and mention that uh, next time I start up, I've used so many days editing this video that I only have 10 days remaining. I'll also be talking about how I'm going to distribute my losses and win. If you like this video, please consider liking or subscribing. See you in the finale.